Fire Escape Engineers Inspect the Summary Video. Here we are in Brooklyn. We have a fire escape here, and uh, what's happening here is the this fire escape uh, not structurally sound and not, has not been kept painted. Uh, some some issues here is the fact that some of these bolts have rotted away; the nuts are no longer there. So there's some life safety issues. This is the example of some of the life safety issues in that that's already fallen. That's already fallen. The nuts are gone. The bolts are gone. Rust is eating everything. So as we go back down, you can see here, they've replaced that bolt, right? But the nuts gone on this one. The nuts gone on this one. The nuts gone on that one. The nuts gone on this one. The nuts are gone on that clip. The nuts are gone. So you're going to see pretty much what's going to happen throughout this whole fire skip as I walk down is that the nuts are gone. The nuts are gone. You know, nuts are gone. There's no nuts down there. So as you, uh, as what's holding this fire escape together is a connection, but now the connection's gone, a lot of rust. No nut left on some of these gusset plates. No, no nut left on the stringer clip. No nut left. So let's talk about what we have here. Uh, the International Fire Code says you must examine, test, and certify this fire escape. Um, so, what you got to do is you got to spot repair this fire escape and then load test it. That's one of the options. Second option is you can spot repair this fire escape, and if the city will accept an affidavit from a design professional, uh, but it'll come with a heavy disclaimer letter, disclaimer of liability, back to the owner of the building, stating that anything that's original hardware left behind should it fail, the liability is 100% on the owner of the building. And then the third option, which I think this is a candidate for, is 100% re rebolting of all the fasteners, then there is no need for a load test. And the fire escape is certifiable in lieu of a load test because every single one of the fasteners has been done. So as I go down, this, old, this fire escape is older than 78, so renovator's license supplies. The EPA says that you cannot weld on this fire escape. Uh, $35,000 penalty to weld with anything that has lead. But this fire escape is not made for welding. This fire escape is made for rebolting. So all these bolts are going to be new 3.8s everywhere. And you got to silicone shut all these connections so that, and a lot of times, the nut is underneath, not on top. And that's why these things rot out. Nuts are underneath. And so that the head sits up here, and if there's snow, it won't eat. So, some uh, buckets left here, gotta get removed. Going down the stairs, railing on the right side, missing a line or two. Again, pre existing non conforming. The city official will have to determine if he wants to allow, but there's no railing on the left side. Now, the city official would have to allow uh, this to continue. Uh, as a pre-existing non-conforming, but that's his decision. But otherwise, I would recommend for liability purposes, should you trip, you're going to fall in, inwards and get hurt and get jammed up in there. Should you fall forward, you, there's a possibility of you falling out or get, at least passing through some of these. All your treads are original hardware. Original hardware, 100%. I don't see any evidence of maintenance. This fire escape should have had some maintenance done in its 50th to 75th birthday. I see none. No nut there, no nut there. No nut here. So all original hardware needs to be swapped out and that will avoid uh, having to be load tested. See? Nuts. And then if you look back here, there's the nuts gone. There's no nut there. Same thing on the other side. There's the head. Nut is gone completely. So life safety issues. Lots of rust, corrosion inside, treads. All original hardware. Usually these fire escapes are Change, the fasteners are changed in the, in the 25th to 50th birthday. That was not the case on this fire escape. They just kept painting it. I need that swapped out. So that fastener of the bracket and then that fastener in the back needs to be swapped out. Cement connections need to all be verified back into the building. These look pretty good. They need to be all verified, sealed. Um, if they can't be verified, they need to be duplicated. So. I would change all the treads, otherwise we leave these treads with the original fasteners load tested to avoid any, any disclaimer li letter of liability or change all these fasteners, there is no liability, there is no load test. This floor is having the same issue. 
as you can see here, original hardware, freeze and thaw against the building is pushing this out. Some of these flats need to be secured down with a bolt, no welding. Missing bolts, missing nuts. Missing bolts, missing nuts. Very tight here, it's about 18 inches across, I'd say. Um, as you go down, these down below are totally gone, not as gone. As we keep going down, it gets worse. Again, original hardware, separation, rust, corrosion. These nuts going up should not be the case. They should have been facing down. See, the heads, top nuts underneath. But some of these are riveted. If you put a hand underneath here, there is no nut. It's a smashed rivet. So I estimate this fire skip to be older than, older, than, older than 75 years old. Going back down, original hardware on all the treads. Missing the rail on the right side when you go, I mean, on the left side when you're going down. Nuts missing. No nut. Look at all this rust inside the connection. No nut on the back side. Okay, no nut there. Rust, growth, eating. Look at this, gone. See, no nut. No nut back here. Okay, so change that out so I don't have to load test it. Change that out so I don't have to load test it. Sometimes there's so much room here, you can actually keep this one if it's in good order and there's no rust inside. Give me another bolt right in here. So. You want this belt, put a suspender right behind it, and I'm in lieu of a low test. That's a backup. That's reinforcing an existing rivet. Okay, no rail on the right side going down. This rail is missing uh, something in the middle. Again, pre existing, non conforming. City official will determine if this can be grandfathered in as is. Okay, there's the pieces that start rusting, falling apart. The nut is missing. Nut, this is the piece of the ladder system. The ladder is a guillotine ladder. Once you let it go, it just guillotines down. Original hardware, we gotta close this up so water starts getting in there. There's some buildup of cement and it's pushing that out. So some rust is building up in here and you can see some of the brackets and some of the cement. See that cement spalling back there? It's all cement spalling. Up there also. It's not so bad, but there's uh, you got to definitely secure that and then um, seal it with silicone. All right, I'm about to uh, do part two of this video, which will include the picking up of the slider system. Any questions? Farscape skip engineers inspect the summary video eight six 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 four nine zero three three three. Engineers part two. We're here in Brooklyn. Again, hardware missing. Rust, grading, pops. This is a Farscape stair that is, I think, not connected here anymore. Notice the nuts all been eaten away. Rust growth in between the connections. So if we go down this set of stairs, which is missing a rail on one side, pre existing, non conforming, city official. We'll have to determine this was look look at the gap I can put my finger in here this used to be up against the so this left side is no longer attached of this stair and the right side is no longer attached so these are the kind of things you have to concern yourself with notice that there some of the cement work is covering some of the supports notice all that rust <clears throat> we got to get in here and clean up all this rust change the bolt out change the rivet out on both sides. Okay. And then as you go down, the treads are all the same thing, all original hardware. Missing a rail on my right hand side, coming down, I'm going down backwards. But uh, when you come down, should you fall, you'll fall into the, into the inside cavity. All right, this ladder, 
the ladder system, all the bolts missing, nuts and bolts, missing nuts, missing nuts, missing nuts, down below, missing the nuts, missing the nuts, so this is the hook, it's very simple when it comes up, you know, when you lift it up, but missing the nut, missing the nuts, so what's going to happen is, should there be any major shaking going on as people go up and down this thing, anything that doesn't have any more fasteners <coughs> is just going to pop, wiggle and drop people accordingly. So no nuts, no nuts, no nuts, no nuts here, needs a good scraping, don't forget it all has lead, anything older than 1978 is presumed to have lead, okay. Uh, there's some, looks like there's some window weights here. They gotta get off this thing. A good scraping. And again, all the nuts underneath of the stringer of the treads are hammered rivets. So a lot of times, if these are in good order, instead of getting rid of these, you put in a single half inch bolt right in the middle of here. Because you can either drill these out and put in two three eighths or put a huge half inch right in the middle because there's no rust inside the connection, seal it from above and we're good to go. So that's what I recommend on the, all the treads. Back them up with a half inch bolt if they're in good order or drill them out. You know, you can cut this away with a grinding wheel and then just drill it 3 eighths through, put in two new 3 eighths. Silicone shot everything from above. Every joint that we're not talking about needs to be cleansed and then you got to reseal it with silicone so that this doesn't occur, see? No nuts. A lot of the stuff, the nuts are gone. Look at that, no nuts. That one, no nuts. Uh, some of that cement and things against the building is getting pushed out. It's starting to pop some of your welds. So, so, so a lot of this stuff needs to be rebolted back down. And that's traditionally the look and the work on this activity. It's all rebolting. Probably four, five hundred, six hundred bolts that need to be done on this Firescape. Any questions? Firescape engineers inspect the summary video. The city official will determine whether or not a permit is going to be needed and if engineer oversight is required on this but we highly recommend that engineer oversight be done otherwise a vendor will come in here give you a good paint job hide a lot of these repairs under silicone and under paint that you'll never be able to see uh, whereas uh, under engineer oversight all the repair work is done first spot prime everything everything gets signed off then you can paint the fire escape and uh, anybody that's doing any of this work should come with at least a 10 year structural warranty if not more. Any questions, Farscape Engineers, 866-649-0333. 866-649-0333.